what you're seeing here is various footages from National Geographic depicts how we will all feel like when we are trapped in a plastic bag. Clearly, it's not the best feeling in the world. Same thing with turtles or marine life in general. It is truly a pain in the neck. Literally. Now keep in mind, the social experiments slash artwork was created in the USA, a country which has world-class scientists World's premium destinations for technology and a better education about aquaculture in general. Comparatively speaking, Vietnam has some major issues relating to millennials or Generation X awareness about our severely damaged ecosystem. Obviously, you don't have to be a professional in this field to acknowledge these errors, yet, some just doesn't care. So, what exactly is an ecosystem and why it is so important for us to make sure it is always balanced? According to Wikipedia, an ecosystem is a community made up of living organisms and non-living components such as air, water and mineral soil. Some scientists view the entire planet as one ecosystem. Meaning that an ecosystem is the foundations of our earth, and whether it is healthy or not, heavily depends on us, as we are the most impactful creature on this small planet. The ocean is the largest ecosystem on earth, it is the planet's life support system. Oceans generate half of the oxygen we breathe, and at any given moment, they contain more than 97% of the world's water. Oceans provide at least a sixth of the animal protein people eat. Living oceans absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and reduce climate change impacts. The diversity and productivity of the world's ocean is a vital interest for humankind. Our security, our economy, our very survival all require healthy oceans. Remember what happened to the dinosaurs? We need to know that Mother of Nature will strike us back whenever she can. Everything created by her is here for a reason. Human impact on natural environment has reached unprecedented levels. Particularly in Vietnam, the latest report by the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment. Vietnam's marine environmental situation is continuing to degrade. Vietnam has more than 100 rivers, 10 of which are heavily polluted, such as the Koh and Dei rivers in the north and the Teva river in the south. Mangrove forests have been critically devastated and up to 90% of the coral reefs are threatened to be destroyed. At least 85 sea species are in danger at various levels, with 70 species being named on a country's red list is also caused by localities inappropriately exploiting, resulting in a genuine lack of fresh water. Which is also caused by localities inappropriately exploiting, resulting in a genuine lack of fresh water. Heavy fishing techniques like utilizing explosive and hazardous synthetics and as well as a lack of planning in sea tourism development have reduced rapidly aquatic resources and harm marine biological systems. Here are a few things we can do to save the planet. Minor carbon footprint and reduce energy consumption. Reduce the effects of climate change on the oceans by leaving the car at home when you can be unconscious of your energy use at home and work. A few things you can do to get started today. Switch to compact fluorescent light bulbs. Take the stairs and bundle up or use a fan to avoid oversetting your thermostat. 2. Use fewer plastic products. Well, we all know a story about plastic. To limit your impact, carry a reusable water bottle. Store food in non-disposable containers, bring your own cloth tote or other reusable bag when shopping, and recycle whenever possible. 3. Help take care of the beach. Whether you enjoy diving, surfing or relaxing on the beach, always clean up after yourself. Explore and appreciate the ocean without interfering with wildlife or removing rocks or coral. Go even further by encouraging others to respect the marine environment 
or by participating in local beach cleaning. 4. Don't purchase items that exploit marine life. Certain products contribute to harming the fragile coral reefs and marine populations. Avoiding purchasing items such as coral jewelry, turtle shells hair accessories, and sharks related products. 5. Support organizations working to protect the oceans. Many institutes and organizations are fighting to protect the ocean's habitats and marine wildlife. Find our national organizations and consider giving financial support or volunteering for hands on work. And last but not least, educate yourself about oceans and marine life. All life on Earth is connected to the oceans and its inhabitants. The more you learn about the problems facing this vital system, the more you want to help ensure its health. Then share the knowledge to educate and inspire others.